Hey voyeurs, in an attempt to look younger and slightly more stylish, I've got a new haircut. Ding! Ha! You idiot, you've got the same style. Oh. Yeah. I think as my hair gets longer, the style will become more obvious. But at the moment, I'm enjoying the shortness of my hair and the low maintenance factor of it. Also, it means that when I go to the gym, I won't have to wear a cap all the time. Perhaps people will stop thinking I'm a gangster. Hey, did you hear on the news about Tiger Woods crashing his car? Shortly after leaving his home, he backed into a fire hydrant and then hit a tree. I guess he couldn't decide between a wood and an iron. POW! Apparently, Tiger said this was the closest shave that he'd ever had. So Gillette have now dropped his contract. BLAM! But it does make you think. What's the difference between a car and a golf ball? Well, Tiger can drive a ball 400 yards. Zing! The other day I went to the Jewelry Quarter Museum in Birmingham. It's one of the best free UK tours around. Seriously, it's won awards. Before the tour, there's a chance to walk around the museum, and I found myself strangely drawn to the child's area of learning. Let's face it, it's far more fun than the adult section. Why did we ever bother switching from pictographics to text anyway? Whilst seated on a child's chair, just big enough for one of my ass cheeks, I noticed a selection of books. This selection of books contained Where's Wally? Or to you American lot, Where's Waldo? I spent a good deal of time looking for that little guy as I waited for the tour to start, and I'm not ashamed to say that I had a lot of fun with that book. Imagine my surprise to get home only to find that boingboing.net had run an article on find and seek books, mainly a book they featured called Spot It. The link's in the section down there. So I decided I'd set you all a little find and seek task of my own. I must admit that setting tasks for you does make me feel a little like Jigsaw from the Saw movies. Hey, there's a Wally inside of you. I said a Wally inside of you. If you don't find him in time, then a mysterious anvil will drop on your head. I'm going to be hiding my Freud action figure around the study. So see if you can find him. Also, whilst looking for Freud, see if you can find a hair of the rabbit variety, a skull with red eyes, and a pair of spectacles. So, here are 10 scenes where Freud is hiding. You'll have 15 seconds in each scene to find him. Good luck. Where, 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 where's Freudy? Oh, where's Freudy? Where, 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 where's Freudy? Find Freudy! Find Freudy!
This is the part of the show where I would normally do the Weird Weekly question. But sadly, the Weird Weekly question is no more. There's only one thing left for me to say, but I'm too bereft to say it. So I'm going to leave it down to Freud. Remember, it is all about your mother. Remember, so keep it real. Well, Alright. Well, Paul Brook knows just what you're thinking, and he knows just what you're feeling. Can pick up on the slightest cues He knows what's lies and what's the truth Paul Brook understands when you're feeling low Paul Brook understands when you're feeling